Hey Cancer, this is Soul here. And Cancer, this is your bi-weekly um, message reading uh, beginning October 22nd, ending November 4th, 2018. The messages will be for uh, Cancer Sun, Moon, and Cancer Rising as well. All right, Cancer, let's get right into this um, energy here. For some of you, this is a general reading. Uh, we have some... Oh, shit. Our energy opens up with the tower, too. So this is the third time that the tower has come through. So, you know, I always talk about the tower on the world stage. So tr trice the energy of what's to unfold in the next two week period of time. So it may not be. It's still part of upheaval and destruction. OK, and it could be something that impacts us on a personal level. Um but it's something that happens to us during this two week period of time that shakes us up a little bit. OK, uh, this is also to what I have explained in another video when the tower has showed up. It could be the universe um, trying to shake things up for us for our own benefit. So we shouldn't be um, too afraid or too scared to shake things up or have things shaken up for us. Now, the card that's underneath this tower is my concern and it's the two of cups which is our energy okay so this is people here and of course the two of cups in the upright position is you know almost always positive but also to always connect with a link depending on what shows up what's underneath what's over top this could be just merely uh shakeups with personal interpersonal relationships with others that could be romantic platonic family cups represent children for me uh it could be you know co-workers friends well i just say platonic so it could be almost anything where the tour cups normally is all about peace and harmony getting uh, along with you know getting along well with other people seeing eye to eye with one another being on the same page but i'm just specifically uh, picking up this and, and it's still still all those things don't get me wrong cancer uh and this is your energy and that energy of scorpio and pisces male or female but i'm getting a direct hit with this tower over top and you know this is a major this is a minor so some of us can expect to have things shaken up for us a little bit and it's related to uh in connection with other people so let's just see how it goes this tower could represent breakups, arguments, um, you know, all kinds of foolishness. Um, on the world stage, it's, you know, the third time that it showed up for the readings that I'm, I've been doing for this two-week period of time. So, and I forgot to mention, too, in the other uh, videos, uh, possibly as to why the energy of the tower keeps showing up here. Uh, I just happened to see where I didn't really fully get into it, but uh, just happened to see like a caption or a headline where we're either entering into um, a Scorpio moon. And if you know anything about Scorpio, Scorpio represents the death card. And that's usually a transition. That's usually death and, you know, rebirth. But it also uh, takes place to shake things up in our current life. Um and maybe this is why the tower is showing up here so much. And yeah, I forgot to mention it in, I think it was uh, Taurus's, Taurus's video and Gemini's video. I think Gemini received the tower. I'm not really sure. Okay. So anyway, that's our overall energy for the next two week period of time. Let's just throw out some Hail Marys and keep our prayers uh, in check. You know, just stay positive. And always stay safe because, you know, I always emphasize safety even strongly when the tower shows up. OK, for the zodiac sign that I'm reading for now, you have the two of cups underneath the tower uh, cancer. Now you have the four of cups again, um, and this could represent social uh, invitations, you know, could be represent first dates. Two of Cups, this is a social card, Four of Cups, this here, and there's no cups on these cards. So, you know, these um, images here are speaking something totally different. On this particular um, card, the Four of Cups, it looks like, you know, I picked up, in, matter of fact, the Four of Cups was in Gemini's reading too. The 
this looks like a, a painter or an artist canvas here and he's painted something this could be the apprentice in the background looking at you know his work but he's sitting here not really looking satisfied as to uh his end result okay um that could be someone that you know reading for literally that is an artist and you know they're painting something now the artist doesn't necessarily have to relate to painting but you could be an artist in music you could be an artist uh you know as yeah music or some other type of you know artistic talent and there's some sort of um dissatisfaction in the end result of something that you're possibly working on otherwise this is you know a card of invitation uh, normally it's around a small group of people this could be your family cups represent children for me um, but it's you know in a setting you know it could be in the home but it could be in a setting and these people are you know um, like-minded emotionally supportive of each other okay so that's what I'm getting and then you know what in spite of the tower even though the tower is major and you know we have it for our overall energy we have the ten of cups here as well okay so the ten of cups we have the two of cups ten of cups and the four of cups so, so there is some good into this energy that I'm picking up this could be a wedding um, this could be you know, like a family get together or some sort of large gathering since it's underneath the four of cups as, you know, the cups represent the social stuff for me. So it could be um, that you're invited. There could be a chance meeting of someone new when it comes to a romantic uh, partnership. But I know the major focus would be on that tower for most of the people that I'm reading for because uh, they think it's the, you know, end of the world and it's not. Just stay positive and I feel that it might be just something trivial um, that might take place in the uh, next two weeks. And it may not be something that impacts you. Maybe just some, a message is coming forth uh, to impact what's going on in our, um, you know, like our, you know, our world news or, you know. And maybe that's all it is. But the Ten of Cups could represent that wedding, could represent a large social gathering, could be an office party. It could be almost anything. Um, but you're surrounded by people who are emotionally supportive uh, of you. And you, you're, it's an even exchange of that energy since it comes after the Two of Cups. We do have the uh, Sun card com uh, coming after the... No, I'm sorry. It's the world card. I mistook this for the sun because I saw all the orange. <laughs> okay, this is the world card that's in the reverse. Okay. Remember if um, there is, you know, absence of cups in these cards that I'm using in this deck. But if you remember any other decks or if you know the tarot uh, specifically that there's always four cups. And normally there's three cups before or one cup you know, uh, that the person is focused on. So there may be a situation where if cancer, some cancers that I'm reading for are not paying attention, there's this card of the world card, Major Arcana showing up in the reverse, where normally I would pick it up as um, opportunities uh, expected or unexpected coming our way. But when it's in the reverse, those opportunities are still present, but your focus might be somewhere else. And you can just look at this guy. He's sitting here and he's focused on his canvas or his painting. And there could be another opportunity that's surrounding him. But he's he's so concerned about what's going on with his end result to the painting that he just did. All right. So that's where there could be a possibility of things being presented to us in this two week period of time. And then we're not. Uh, paying attention or we're focused on something else okay more than more than less likely the tower's energy ten of swords is i think this is no ten of pentacles is showing up in the reverse um coming up after the world see this is a money opportunity or a financial opportunity i picked up a combination before that i felt that even though the current united states dow 
is you know um, strong or improving I still feel that in within a two week period of time it's not going to be like a total tank but there's going to be a drop so that maybe what I'm picking up with the world card in this uh, ten of pentacles this is a card of abundance of feeling you know having all the material uh, things you know surrounding you or just feeling abundant uh, through family, through finances, through wealth. This is the card of inheritance. Um, in this particular deck, it looks like we have a group of guys here who are in um, talks. So it could be something going on in terms of scheming when it shows up in the reverse position. That they're scheming something and it's related to finances. So I don't know if this is a card of... Um, or energy related to someone being swindled out of their finances or if it's this, this that example that I said about the you know the Dow market taking it you know a dive someone could be being you know swindled out of their investment or investments So the message for you here, Cancer, uh, for some of you is to make sure that you got your financial business in order. And if you are thinking about um, doing some sort of investment, I would hold off, though, in this next two week period of time, because someone is not this Ten of Pentacles is is not a card in your best interest um, to invest in anything. Just hold off on that. All right. And maybe this is the reason to the world card is showing up in the reverse position that you saw an opportunity uh, being presented that resulted in, um, you know, money or investing money to get more money. This is not a good time to do that. All right, you already talked about the Two of Cups, already talked about the Ten of Cups. Next up after the Ten of Cups is the Five of Wands in the reverse, which is good because in the upright position, um, this is usually, you know, some sort of arguments, um, someone initiating arguments, picking fights, and it's just something that starts up real quickly and then it disperses. If it's not related to another person, uh, sometimes it's the energy of being defensive or feeling like you're being attacked by another person. Wands represent Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Could be a part of those exchanges. But in the reverse, that means that, that bickering, quarreling, uh, if it is coming in from the energy of another person towards you, is coming to a quick end. And... Um, it's a number five. So that means that new energy uh, will be presented, which is good. Okay. Two of, um, not the two, but it's the high priestess, the major arcana. So you have the tower, you have this, the world card, and then you have the high priestess. So pay attention to your intuition. This represents your energy as well because it's, you know, Pisces and then Scorpio. And, you know, I picked up here where... This particular image, she's having a tarot reading and she's giving, um, it looks like she's come to have a tarot reading and to find out what's going on with her life, what's coming up for her in her life. And she's being advised here. Okay. So I could be that, you know, reading for someone who is actually booked for, to have a reading done by a uh, tarot reader, whether they're professional or someone who is just, you know. Um, starting off this also could represent you uh, cancer being a reader or giving advice to someone and she's just sitting there looking uh, you know she has a hand on her chest and the, the lady the reader is holding her arm and she's just guiding her you know letting her know what uh, things are coming up for her and she's very attentive so normally with the high priestess that shows up is two people so it could be and I usually pick up the energy of opposition so it could be that there's opposing forces and it doesn't necessarily mean um, anything negative now it mirrors the two of cups so there could be someone who 
you meet that is new. Now, whether it's romantic, platonic, but this person is going to be different from you in terms of culture, language, religion, um, could be male, female, whatever. But there's an opposing I wouldn't say opposing force, but there's something going to be different. Also, too, this is a um, card of um, having to have, you know, differences of opinion with someone else. Or someone has a different of a you know difference of opinion with you. OK, so I like that combination. It's the number two. It mirrors the two of cups. So that could be a potential new relationship. And then that uh, whole energy relates to. Those things that I had just mentioned. Okay. All right. So, Cancer, that's what I have for you. The tower is, is ours. Uh, we own it. So, let's just see what happens. I always appreciate the comments that come through. Let me know if the reading is resonating with you. For the ones who uh, the reading is not resonating with you, do, do, you don't have to waste your time making comments. All right. Anyway, for the single crabs that I have selected uh, for you from the Rebel deck, uh, and these messages are for anybody really even though a single or this is actually the couple um crabs out there uh this message says fucking say it on the reverse side it says resentment kills the magic all right that's for those uh, couple crabs single crabs i selected for you uh slop, <laughs> stop sleeping so damn much that certainly ain't me Wake up, you are missing some cool shit, okay? But that's a message for anyone who needs to hear that. All right, Cancer, again, be safe during this two-week period of time. Uh, sending you guys out quite a bit of love and light your way until I talk to you again, Cancer. Please be well. Bye.